it has been a long and fruitful summer, but the past 11 weeks I've had five days off total. So I am well overdue for a vacation slash fishing trip. Yes, you heard that correctly. I am taking a fishing trip to take a break from my job of taking people on a fishing trip. I'm headed to Marco Island with Jonathan, Becky, and Ramey, and we are gonna do all kinds of fishing. We're gonna go permit fish, grouper fish, uh, triple tail, snook, and if the weather permits, we are gonna do an overnight trip to the Pulley Ridge, which is awesome. You know, some of the best deep dropping in the state. Uh, tile fish, big groupers. I've been really looking forward to this trip for a long time. Um, something I've been wanting to do for a while at Fish Pulley Ridge, and uh, I'm stoked. I'm about an hour and a half away right now. We're about to get all get to the house. I got all my rods packed up. Went to Strike Zone the other day and bought a couple of brand new setups for this trip. I've really been putting off buying inshore stuff for about four years now, so I decided I'd drop a dollar and some new setups. And here's a compilation of me spending way too much money at Strike Zone. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I had to do it. Been holding off work for years, years. Today's the day I dropped a dollar and actually get good inshore stuff and slash offshore-ish stuff. My pockets are gonna hurt. <laughs> Woo hoo hoo! Got him! Yeah, my pockets hurt. They're hurt. They're hurting good. Oh well, it'll be worth it. Take care of it. It'll last a long time. Y'all stay tuned. It's about to get seriously serious. Seriously serious. And we have made it. Uh, six hours later. Uh, first impression of Marco Island, it is beautiful here. Really, really, really nice beachy, really nice beachy houses. Very beachy feel. I really like it here so far. Sup? Look who it is. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. So he gets in. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, we're going to scare the hell out of him. <laughs> Look at this place, man. This thing is nice. We got a pool, too? Oh, my God. That's nice. The dog's really nice, too. Golly. What do you think about that, Spook? Huh? What do you think about that? Man. That was pretty awesome. Good Lord. Wow. Wow. Nice. Pretty damn nice place. Jeez Louise. It's gonna be a good week. Got her all unpacked. That's a whole lot of setups for three people. Mm -hmm. Travel light. Travel light. As always, that's all our stuff too. Got a boat. <laughs> Got more stuff in the boat. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Gotta do right though. Bring the right stuff, you never know bring everything. When I worked the long range boats, one of the guys, he would bring, I think by himself, brought, I think 25 setups. Usually you bring like maybe 10 or 12. His quote to the owner was, I'm gonna use only 10% of these, but I don't know which 10%. So that's kind of the idea that we have here. We're probably gonna use 60% of these really, but we don't know which 60%. So bring it on, that's what we do. Okay, so we start the morning out catching some crabs to catch permit with the dip nets. Fish the tower for a little bit, try to catch some permits, didn't really go well. So now we're trying to group a fish. Gonna give it a shot. Got him? Dude, that bearing sounds horrible. I just got, I wasn't even on the bottom when I got slapped. What the hell do I have? Oh, look at that, RG. Yeah, shark! It's a heck of a double. What whooper? That's what we came for. Yes. Yes. That explains why I got bit before I hit the bottom. Get him! Yeah! Oh! Oh, oh god! I didn't know Red Grouper could pull that hard. Nice. Uh huh? Legal? Are you sure? Nice! Red grouper, red grouper. That worked, Johnny. Yeehaw. This trip wasn't a complete waste now. Woo! -hoo. 
Red grouper, red grouper. Maybe I can catch one. Did he really? Oh, free bait. Oh, look at that. Snagged him. I did catch a red grouper. Baby. Got him. Man, they got a good grouper fishery over here. Why can't we catch grouper that like that all the time? I know. Exactly. Little teeny tiny baby. Little boy. Got him. That's a good one. Good old good, man. Eh? Oh. That boy, you caught your two. Now it's my turn. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Woo. Oh, you got him, huh? Oh. Hey, grouper, hey, grouper. Better one. I don't know if it's legal, but it's better. Oh, shark. Yes, tiger shark. Wow. Baby tiger. That's so cool. Very cool. Baby tiger do 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 Oh he's so pretty He's so pretty Okay sir calm down Oh don't bring him a leader Ew really Oh that's slimy Oh yeah he does kind of He's very pretty Very cool and you got another grouper. Oh, they are slimy. What the heck? Shark slime. And he's rubbing it all over me. He got some gnarly looking teeth as a baby. Dude, they are slimy. What in the world? Uh, very cool. What? Ooh, thank you. I have my grunt plug back. That is so funny. Ha! That is awesome. Thank you for returning my bait, little grouper. That is awesome. I think I was squatting on it so hard. Hey, red grouper. Might be. Freaking barely hooked. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, you're like half an inch from dying. Poor guy. Better guy. Hey, hey, hey. Another close one. Oh, well, he actually might make it. Oh. Hold on, buddy. You might be a gunner. Hey. Black. Woo, he's close. Oh, he's good. 20 and a half, baby. I caught a legal one. Oh. Ah, oh, that was a better one. Got me all. Took me all. 
Maybe I just caught the bottom, I don't know. Got a small one. They do love that mullet, man. <laughs> love it. You just throw up crab, crab claws. Grab one of the uh, pass crab. That's what, that's what this is. Get him. Better one? Are you sure? I don't know. Might be close. Oh yeah. Ah. Secret spot. Can I my leader back? Thank you. How did that happen? That's pretty good. I know. I wonder how I got broke off. The swivel is not on there either. That's pretty funny. Sorry, I wonder how I got broke off. The leader ain't like chafed or nothing. Lead must have got caught in the bottom or something. That is funny, twice today. That was on our last drift too. All right, last bit drift, best drift. Good start. Good start. Little guy. Little one. Whole bunch of red grouper off the southwest coast of Florida. Love it. Oh, we both got some. Damn. Uh. Cobia. That's random. Man, feisty little guy. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. So sick of, sick of dealing with these tiny ones. Oh, it's him. <coughs> yes, sir. Big red grouper. Oh yeah. Freaking nice one, buddy. Nice one. Let's go home. Nicely done, sir. Nice fish, buddy. Red grouper. I'm gonna clean a red grouper and cook it. So, um, I have a very not great cleaning table. Apparently, this was the exact same way last year. So, uh, Horizon Rentals, what are you doing? What are you doing? Fix a fillet table. This isn't even real starboard. If you would see how goofy my setup is right now, you'd understand why I'm about to show you a clip of the fish on the ground right here. He ended up with a two-person limited red grouper and a small mango. So, uh, we're going to eat them. I'm going to do one on a half shell because I've never done a fish on the half shell and grouper sounds great. This is probably going to be the most carefully I've ever cleaned a fish, aside from like a lionfish or a scorpion fish or a, what are those things called on the west coast that we caught all the time? What just fell? Sapwater water problems. What are they called? Sculpin, that's what they're called. Okay. Aside from that, because I have a giant gaping hole right here. So like I said before, I'm going to try to cook this thing on the half shell. Um, which means, you know, skin on. Oh, I must have lost my knife. Skin on, scales on. I've never done a fish on the half shell before. Redfish is kind of the typical thing that you would do on the, on the half shell. That's like a stereotypical half shell fish. A lot of people like trigger fish on the half shell as well. Um, I'm trying grouper because, just because. So rinse it off really well, get all that nasty red grouper slime off it. And uh, yeah, full layer up. Cut down the side or cut down the head. Don't drop the grouper into the giant hole that's in your play table. That is the most important step. You know, it's really cool. It's like, I understand that, you know, in the video, you're gonna see a lot like us catching a lot of small grouper. Um, so I would definitely say that the grouper fishery on the west coast of Florida is superior in terms of numbers 
to where I live on the east coast, like northeast coast, you get more numbers up like in the Carolinas and whatnot. So it's it's really rare for us that we catch that many grouper one. I felt really weird sitting on a spot and catching six grouper, even though that five of them were throwbacks. It, it's something that we don't get to have in northeast Florida. We get big giant ones. You know, you have a chance if you want to go catch a freight, if you want to go catch a freight train or a, you know, a big old fire truck or something like that, or you know, your PB mutton or your PB mango. Uh, pretty much northeast Florida is the way to go, but it's like we don't ever get numbers. I probably doubled the amount of grouper that I caught today this past year. Granted, I spent half of that year in California, but still, it's like I don't know. I like catching grouper. That's cool. Throwbacks or not, that's how you clean a red grouper. I got a couple more to clean. Best cleaning cook you ever seen. I already put the uh, Chef Paul on, and uh, I have actually have a half a mango snapper fillet and the cheeks from the biggest red grouper we caught. I'm gonna let this one sit here first and kind of get cooking because it's way thicker than the other pieces, obviously. So, uh, yeah, got it on the top shelf and uh, gonna wait a little bit and then put the other ones on. Okay, about ten minutes in. Oh, golly. It's cooking well. We're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put the cheeks and the mango on. All right, we're done. Looking all right here. Oh god. Want to try a grouper cheek? Sure. All right, have at it. Right there. Well, you gotta peel it off. You need a fork. <laughs> I'll get you a fork. You ate it? Did you eat it already? I mean, how was it? Chewy, really? Here, do it the right way. And I'm gonna do it on camera. Go ahead and eat your cheese. No, I and want I'll to see. Film, I'll film you. No. On the cheeks. Which one did you take a bite at? Oh, it comes it. right off the skin. That's actually really surprising. Look at this shit. I mean, look at this. Should it literally just came right off the skin. It is chewy. I cooked it too long. <laughs> How about the actual filet? The filet seems okay. The filet is really good. Compared to the mango. That mango is better than the grouper. You've never had mango snapper, really. I think the mango is better than the grouper, really. All right, there you have it. There is your subpar catch cleaning cook with Steve Harvey in the background. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. Like, comment. I'm on vacation, vacation mode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Love you guys.